Hi guys, it's time for a Thursday Tip Talk video, which is also a school-wide video, because we're going to talk about something you need to know, Schoology. I know you've heard that word before, it, it's not Schoology, it's Schoology. schoology. So, one streaming word there, Schoology. So we're going to talk about how to get there, how to make sure that you got there, because obviously there's a lot of wrong ways to do it, yes. and then how to get help if you still need it, okay? We've had a lot of people coming to us and telling us that they don't know how to log in, or mm -hmm. they tried and it didn't work, or it works here at school, or it doesn't work at home, blah, 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 blah. Watch oh. this video if that applies to you. Okay? Yes. Here you go. Um, a great place to start is the East High webpage. It's always a good place to start. You should yeah. know the East High webpage address because so much right. information is on this page. It's right up there. We also made a little document so you can see a little better. This is the school website address um, okay you can click this Schoology link right here mm -hmm. on the school website you can click that you should in fact or you can type this in most of the time if you type in hcboe.schoology.com it will take you to the right place um, you'll know you're in the right place if you if the next thing you see is this yes okay it'll say Schoology Microsoft integration and have a little boxes here for you to put your um, student email mm -hmm. and then the password is your student ID number. Student email looks like this. Okay? Yes. Don't type in username. <laughs> at your student. name. We've, we've seen lots of people do that. Uh -uh. That doesn't work. Type in your actual last name, your actual first initial, and then you may or may not have a number depending on how common your last name is. Mm -hmm. If you're a junior or a third like and I don't mean an 11th grader I mean like <laughs> you have the same name as your dad and or your grandfather like um, Joe student junior your login would be your last name and then the JR and then your first initial yeah. okay so remember that and if, if you, you have trouble. don't know your email your teacher has it in power school mm -hmm. if your teacher can't find it in power school we can find it in our right. school catalog in our library catalog so ask someone if you are having trouble. Yes, please don't ever go, oh, I couldn't log in, so I just didn't. Too or long. I borrowed somebody else's. Don't ever borrow someone else's login. And don't ever give someone else your login. Okay, tip for the day. Um, back over here to Schoology. You're going to put that student email in there. Mm -hmm. And then your password, which is your lunch number. Yes. Same thing you used to get on your computer. Um, and then you should come to a page that looks like this. Yeah. If you're in the right place, you will see an M and then our school initials. If you do not see an M and our school initials, then you are not in the right place. Yeah. Okay, you went to the wrong link, you typed in the wrong thing, something is not right. Yes. Um, so if you don't see this, you're in the wrong place. If you do see this, good job, right place, you got there. You should also be able to click on courses and you should see your actual classes that you are actually taking this yes. semester. And maybe all the classes you've taken since freshman year, who knows, they could all be there, but don't think you're in the wrong place because there's more than four classes. Right, right. And then you can click on the name of your class and you should see whatever your teacher has put in there. Okay, well there's nothing here yet, so let's try a different one. Um, Packless has stuff in it, sweet, okay. So there'll be a little folder or something, you can click on it and then it will open up and you can see either notes your teacher has posted, mm -hmm assignments they have posted. Sometimes you'll see a little green puzzle piece and that'll be an activity for you to do on Schoology. Um, so, also, yeah. remember to go through your courses and don't just click on that little number that's in the top of the screen. That number says something has been posted, but you don't know when or where or what. Go to your course, go through the week, find the actual thing. That notification could be months old or it could be so new your teacher hasn't finished it yet. Right, right. And also, if you log into Schoology and you see, you know, my name and then yeah. library, that's great because um, sometimes we put notifications out through there. I'm thinking about another way to maybe send school-wide information out to everyone through Schoology easily and working on that. Um, so if you see notifications from me and you don't see notifications from other places, don't think that I'm crowding those other notifications <laughs> out. Somebody asked me that last year, can you unsubscribe me from this because I can't see anything from my other classes? And it was because there wasn't anything from their other classes in there. But pay attention to that recent activity. Check on your courses. Um, one more thing I want to show you before we leave is how to message a teacher. Okay. okay. It's a good um, thing to know. You, you can't message each other on Schoology, but you can message teachers, I think. Um, you can click New Message. Click that little envelope and then click New Message. And say you were at home and you wanted to renew your book. Okay. Mm. You could type in Wheatley 
click on my name, um, and you can put in, please renew my book, you know, or books, and then you could say something nice to me there in the <laughs> message part, like, thank you so much, you're the best, smiley face, you know, something like that, just general, and then send that in. Your, your name will be attached to that message. Something like that. Yeah, your name will be attached to that message. I'll know you need to renew your book. I'll renew it, and then I'll reply with the new due date. So, so make it happen. Super convenient. We want to make sure you take advantage of that. Um, and then if you have questions at home and you're in Schoology, you can, again, you can send a message to me. Absolutely. And it'll pop up on my phone, and I will get back to you as soon as I've seen it, try to help right. you out. Uh, if you get home and you have trouble and you can't somehow get to the right place and get logged in, therefore you cannot Schoology <laughs> message me. True. Don't forget you can go to the East High Facebook, okay? Just look up Morristown East High, follow it, like it, and then send it a message and say, hey, my name, I'm having trouble with my Schoology login, and then I will help you from there. Because remember, it's hard for me to help you with your problem at home when you're not at home and I right. can't figure out exactly what, why you're having the problem. So make sure if you haven't called at home, contact me while you're at home so then I can help you. So yeah. anyway, um, I think that's all we've got on Schoology and we'll, we'll see you later. Thanks. Thanks guys. Bye.